Hey guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. I was asked to do this video, and uh, I told him I was going to do the video. I don't even remember. Um, trying to look up your name real quick. Um, anyways, Mike O'Leary. I'm going to try to do what you said. Audi posting some videos of the on the Audi World Forum. Um, got to see, uh, right here, Michael Allen, this video is for you. So, what I did is I went in the house, printed off a bunch of stuff. So, let's try to get this darkened up a little bit. So, you could take a, if you're watching on your phone, take a screenshot, but, anyway, I nor numbered them all. So, what we got is, this is the coolant, coolant inlet valve, whatever. So, we have this. It should come with an O-ring, uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sorry, the seal that's on the bottom of this. Um, because you will break this piece, removing your EGR cooler. And then uh, you do have to order this O-ring. So you order this part, which is uh, the coolant flange, number 41. So right there, that's the part number. It should come with this seal on the bottom, the little rubber seal. Uh, I didn't order it. You will have to order this. And this is the O-ring right here on the bottom. That's that number. That goes on there. It did break it. Uh, I don't know where the piece is. Okay, so that is that piece. Um, what else do I have on here? This coolant inlet flange, coolant shutoff valve. That is the main piece right here. That's this bad boy. It did come with a new gasket on the bottom, a little O-ring, when I ordered it. But however, I did order it. Anyway, just in case, because there is a part number. I can't find a part number for this O-ring, so it should come with it. So anyway, this this seal O-ring right here is, sorry, so this seal here, let's go back. This seal here is number 43 on here. So 43 is this blue O-ring, and then 61, I just numbered it 61. You don't really need it because it should come on that. Um, but yeah, then the coolant shutoff valve is right there. Um, on my receipt, it does not say R, it says AM. So I'm assuming R is obsolete and AM is the newer style one. Uh, you can see it right there. On the bottom it says AM. So um yeah those that's those parts there. So that's that, that, and this. This is everything I replaced right there. So now let's get to the oil cooler. So oil cooler, that's this gasket is 27. I numbered this 100 because there's no number on it and it's pretty hard to find um, but anyway and you need this little o-ring right there which is 28 so 28 27 and then this one goes on top so anyway um, and then these are the intakes so you have a rectangle or a square and a circle I don't know which one's it which one is which but there's both part numbers right there. Six of each of those part numbers. And then the oil cooler, which is, like I said, 27. And then one of the little ones, which is one, uh, 28. And then uh, 100, which I numbered, numbered it 100, which is right there. So 27, 28, 100. 
So that's everything to stop my leaking issue. Um, like I said, if you're doing it on a on your phone, you can take a screenshot if you know how or not. If not, um, pause the video and just write all those numbers down. So there's that right there. And then here's this one right here. Sorry if my writing's sloppy. I tried to write it as best as I could. Okay, so we have all these. Oh, wait. I'm just going to throw them on this box. Everything's going to go in this box. Um, I bought them from... I don't really want to show the name of anything but let's see let's see what I can do here I just don't want my name and address on here so let's do I'm gonna do this so this is where I got it from you can go to ontariovw.com it's right there on the bottom there's their numbers and everything right there um, so I paid $115.12 for those parts. And then for these parts, which is the intake manifold gaskets, the little seal and the other one, you can see I paid $45 for that one. So um, only real special tools you really need is a Torx a T30. Um, this I used to tighten everything down because what I was using uh, wasn't long enough and I kept losing it. Um, you're going to need a 17 millimeter line wrench to do the crossover line. So it goes from one side, one bank to the other bank. So you'll have to remove that in order to get the intake manifold off. And then I bought this on eBay. I'm going to see if I can't pull it up on my phone so we know how much I paid for it. Um, let's see. I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. So I paid $32.99 for it. I'm trying to go to the listing. So I paid $32.00. 99 cents for it and what it is called focus I don't know if it'll focus or not but it is a refill and purging tool gauge kit for auto car radiator coolant vacuum cooling system basically it's just a vacuum um, a vacuum controlled coolant you got these little adapters uh, and it pulls the vacuum, pulls the hoses, everything, sucks all the air out, and then you stick this line in the, I don't know, five gallon jug, or you can stick it in the one gallon tubs, and uh, you open a valve, you open this valve here and everything, and then it sucks, sucks everything in. Um, you will need a vacuum, some sort of vacuum pump. I forget where I got this. You can get the, these at Harbor Freight. So this is air operated vacuum pump. Um, these are pretty cheap at Harbor Freight. Or you can get this other one. I bought this one at Harbor Freight as well. So this is a you know vacuum pump. It's got the different fittings. You turn it on. I didn't use this because I don't. I didn't think. I needed to use that much um, 2.5 cubic feet per minute um, or you can just do it the old-fashioned way add coolant let the car run and let it blurp and to do that you can use one of these funnel things um, which is kind of a pain in the butt I would think to do on the Audi so spill proof funnel kit hmm 
looks like it comes with a bunch of different adapters and stuff. Um, threaded, threaded cap adapter D, gasket for GM, Ford. Um, I don't think this would work. I, I'm pretty sure you can get it to work. Um, like if you just put one of these in there, just stuck it in there to let it blurp. Um, I don't know, I suppose you could use one of those. I didn't use that, I just used this. This is 4.2, so actually this is a lot more, 4.2 cubic feet, cubic feet per minute. Um, so this is more than that vacuum pump, so those are the only real special tools you need um, to do it. I did buy this little hand pump and sucked all the coolant that was in the valley, all the coolant and oil and whatever else that spilt. Because when you take the oil cooler EGR off, the oil cooler off, coolant's going to leak into the valley of the engine. So I used that little pump and I also used a little, um, one of these things. Oh, right here. Whatever this thing's called. Bulb type battery filler. So it's just a little, uh, I can't remember what they called, but baster, turkey baster, I guess. It's basically all it is. And then you left with a bunch of mess. And uh, I'd recommend getting two gallons of coolant antifreeze. Um, I thought I had it. It's specialized for Audis. For Audi, uh, Volkswagen, Mercedes, a bunch of different vehicles. But anyway, um, I ordered that from Arizona something. I can't really remember where I ordered that from. Um, same place. If you watched my last video, same place I ordered all this from. I ordered it from them. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I just I don't want to I don't want to ramble on too much. Um, but yeah, those are the parts. That's the stuff. And uh, so far, I've stuck the camera down there. I've driven the car about 400 miles. And I don't smell coolant. I don't smell burning oil. Car runs a lot better. Um, the weird thing is, is I'm not getting as good as fuel mileage, even though I clean the intake manifold. That's the other thing you're going to need. You're going to need brushes. Uh, brushes from Harbor Freight dryer dryer vent brushes right there get yourself one of those that's my main thing i used to clean out that intake manifold throttle body and uh, get yourself some purple power and maybe some simple green and uh, go with it but anyway all right guys that's gonna be it for this video don't want to make it too long like i keep saying and i keep going on and on and on Alright, we'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Keep doing what you guys do. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Alright, later.